Hello. I am Joshua. I am Joshua, son of Nun. You can read about me in the book of Joshua if you wish. Son of Nun doesn't mean I didn't have any parents. It means my dad's name was Nun. I am his son, Joshua. Grew up in Egypt as a slave. Not a good life. Slavery is evil. No question about that. And so as we were enslaved by the very powerful and evil in many ways, Egyptians, God sent Moses, who also grew up in Egypt, to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. You've got hundreds of thousands of slaves. And a man walks into town and says, Yahweh says, let us go. Are you nuts? That's not going to happen. And so they went back and forth and back and forth. Moses performed signs. God sent plagues. Pharaoh said, okay, fine, you can go. Ah, uh, maybe not. And back and forth and back and forth it went. Let my people go. No, yes, maybe, forget it. Let my people go. On and on and on. Between Moses and Pharaoh. This battle that continued to wait. Until finally, God sends a devastating plague of death to all of those who are not covered in the blood of the Lamb. Devastating, killing thousands, hundreds of thousands. And finally, let my people go Okay, fine, get out of town, now. And so we fled. All of a sudden, we're packed up with a little bit, ready to go. Slaves, 400 years in Egypt. And now we're leaving, going home, wherever home is. To the land of promise, wherever that is. And so we go, following Moses as God leads and guides him. And God sends a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire to remind us day in and day out that we are his. But in the early portion of that, we get to the Red Sea. Looking this way, water. This way, water. Behind us, Pharaoh has sent again his soldiers to come and destroy us or bring us back. So the people are all freaked out. God parts the waters. Moses raises his staff and God parts the waters. And so we march through and Pharaoh follows and God closes the water and the Egyptians die in the sea and we are delivered. Amazing. Can you imagine that? Parting this vast body of water. A miracle. Yahweh. Miracle after miracle after miracle, he delivers, he promises, and he delivers again and again. And so we trust his power, sometimes more than others. And so after the journey of a few months, we get to the land of promise, our new home. And before we enter in, we are sent in 12 spies one from each tribe, and I have one of those tribes, Joshua. I'm sorry, one of those spies. We go into this glorious land. Looks nothing like this. It's a land flowing with milk and honey. Glorious. Animals everywhere, vegetation everywhere. Not like a bunch of, eh, seemingly whatever this thing is. These trees. Ugh. I don't know why we'd have a tree like this anywhere. They seem to have no value except to cause pain. 
maybe as weaponry or something, I don't know. Goofy, ugly looking, strange trees in a way, whatever they are. Ha. But we had glorious vegetation that we brought back and said, hey, this is there. And the people said, yes, but there's soldiers and walled cities. We can't beat those guys. And so they decided we're not going to go. They, they didn't trust God. Caleb and I said, wait a minute, God's going to deliver us. God has delivered us. Let's go. No. So Yahweh says, fine. I will wait until your, all of you who said no are all dead. And then I will give the land to your children. And that brings us 40 years ahead. And Moses dies. God buries him on the mountain. And God gives me, Joshua, the task of taking over. Unimaginable job. But Yahweh says to me time and time and time again, as I begin this task, of leading these people to this land to receive this land that God is gifting us with and and God says to me again and again be strong Joshua be courageous Joshua strong and courageous strong and courageous strong and courageous strong and courageous that was the mantra that God kept telling to me hang on to that Joshua be strong Joshua be courageous Joshua I will be with you wherever you go, whatever you face. From that, I will give you victory as you lean on me, as you trust me, as you follow me. Be strong, be strong. Repeat after me. Be strong and courageous. Say it again. One more time. Say it loud strong and courageous whatever it is you're facing whatever kind of adversity whatever kind of fright horror even something that might be deadly whatever you are facing what are those words I said to you be good good remember those words put them on your walls write them somewhere where you can see them every day be strong and courageous I will be with you wherever you go. Strong. Not because you are strong. Courageous, not because you are one of those, I can do all things. Be strong and courageous because you trust the one who is God. Yahweh, I am. He is the one who brings us victory, peace, power, all of that from him. Look to your world around you. It's kind of frightening. Yeah, it is. Right now I'm isolated. Feel maybe safer than most because I'm isolated, but who knows? Be strong, be courageous. I want you to remember I almost tripped there, but I didn't. But you're going to have moments. Moments when you are going to struggle. Because life is tough. It is. But God says, be strong. Be courageous. Pray with me if you would. Heavenly Father, Yahweh God, we come before you today looking for strength from you, from courage from you in the midst of the battles we are facing, this known but unknown enemy, this powerful, invisible enemies that we face, all because of sin, all because of the brokenness back in the garden. We face all of this. But Lord, let us be strong. Let us be courageous. We ask your blessing, too, for those who would lead, those who would bring healing, that indeed the victory would come. We know it will in your time and in your way. So grant us, Lord, this strength, this courage, knowing that you 
will lift us up. That you, as we lean on you, will carry us, will envelop us in your power. For this, we praise you.